Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to quickly show you how in WordPress you can change menu dependent on the category you're watching and some other variables using this conditional menus by Themeify. So what I mean is on Happy Me Golf, if I go to a, a, a golf vlog by something that I've imported on YouTube, what I wanted for Golf Vlogs UK was the header to be Golf Vlogs latest post, subscribe to them on YouTube, go to their Twitter, go to their website, and the same would be for, uh, say, Mark Crossfield, right? So on their videos, I want to be go to Mark's, go to Mark's videos, go subscribe to Mark, Mark's Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever. So ever, whoever the category is, I change the menu, right? And I use this plugin called Conditional Menus. So let's go through it quickly. You go, you're gonna download it. I'm gonna do it on my website. Go to your dashboard. Go to plugins. Oh man, my website's slow today. Go to plugins. Add new. Come on. Upload plugin. Choose the file. You can drop it or choose it. So I did it yesterday, so I've still got two versions. Install the file, the, the uh, plugin that you've just downloaded, and activate. And that gives you information on how to do it, right? So basically what you do, you go to your menus, and then you go, uh, sorry, menus, and you create a new menu. So create, for me, I want one for something called HubSpot training, right? So I've got a Zoho, you see, I've got a Zoho menu. I want one for HubSpot. So anything that's in the category HubSpot on my website will go to, let me turn this stuff off, actually, because it might pop up. Um, We'll go to that. So I'm just going to call it HubSpot, right? Create the menu. Now on my website, I'm I'm going to put a home link first. Oh man, my website really is slow today. Um, pages, custom link. So create a menu. So I'm going to firstly put uh, home. And then I'm going to put, here we go, let's go pull, and then go to HubSpot training, right? I'm going to go uh, categories, HubSpot, uh, HubSpot latest post. And I'm going to put in that link, custom link, HubSpot. Uh, free training, free introduction, training. That sounds terrible. They'll work for now. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to show you where it will show up. So if I go to my website's a little funky because the home page goes to the training. So if I go HubSpot here and Pick a, pick a category that's got HubSpot. So at the moment, it's the default It's the default uh, menu. So what I need to do now is save this. I think I've already saved it. So this I've got now got a HubSpot menu ready to go. I'm going to go to Manage Locations and say in the primary menu, if you want to do it in the in the uh, footer, it, well, it, it depends on your website where, where your menus are. So if you've got menus in different places, you're going to be able to show it, right? So uh, primary menu, I'm going to add a conditional for HubSpot. And the condition will be on the HubSpot category. So you could change it for your pages. You can change it for your shop page, for stuff like that. I'm going to go here, though, and go, I don't know the difference between category singles and categories. I don't know what the difference is. But I'm going to select HubSpot here and HubSpot here. So in the categories, I select HubSpot. I'm going to save it, save changes. Now, depending on how your, your website caches, how it remembers what it's loaded, it may work or may not first time. So if I refresh this page, now I've got a HubSpot uh, training, right? So when I go to, uh, oh, my, as I say, my website's funky because it, it reloads the homepage to my training training website. Uh, so yeah, so the main the main website on the blog has this, has this um, header. Ah, I didn't mean to click there. And 
the minute you go to HubSpot as a category, so the minute I click on anything that's HubSpot related, so this is my HubSpot. I don't know if that is enough, that might not be in that category actually. Uh, yeah, uh, let's just go here because this is definitely in that category. So the minute I go there, the menu changes. So all you've got to do is upload that plugin, go here, conditional menu. So I could go here, look, Zoho menu. I could go conditions and then show on categories that are Zoho. So CRM, Zoho one, I could do this and save and save and then anything anything in my website that is um zoho related will now have that new that new category uh this is probably zoho related so let's just show you the menu and there's the menu changing so now it's everything zoho related with this video so hopefully that explained it. Just a quick demo. I think it's a really cool tool. Um, it's a really cool little plugin to to give you more functionality on the pages where you want people to go to different places, or depending on the category or the user or something like that. Hope it helps. See you soon. Cheers.